Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Two alleged gang members for the murder of a 14-year-old in Dallas. Manuel Edwards was shot and killed in September. His murder was the subject of a track-down segment with Fox 4 Sean Rabb. Tips generated from that segment helped police eventually find the people responsible for the, for the death. Police are still searching for a third suspect. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager spoke with the teen's mother after she learned the news of the arrests. Peyton. Heather, Dallas police say anonymous tips came in identifying the two suspects, saying they were known gang members in the neighborhood. Now those two suspects are in the Dallas County Jail tonight facing capital murder. Friday, in a field near Fair Park, a memorial to honor 14-year-old Manuel Edwards still stands after more than two months. The teen's mother, Cynthia Edwards, says the cross and flowers were not to move until she knew who took her son. I'm finna get justice. All we wanted was justice as we finna get it. Thank you, Jesus. Edwards received a call Friday at work. Two men police say are connected to her son's murder are now in custody. 22-year-old Travion Harris and 17-year-old Alonzo Simpson were both taken into custody Thursday. Simpson's mugshot at the Dallas County Jail has not been made available yet. A third suspect is still wanted by police, 19-year-old Gregory Ellison. Edwards' mother doesn't recognize any of their names. I don't rem remember seeing none of them. Them the boys he hung out with when he leave the house. Dallas police say the seventh grader's death was at the hands of known gang members with a motive of retaliation. Dallas police say the 14-year-old was last seen on surveillance video in the early morning hours of September 25th with six men, including Harris, Alonzo, Ellison, and three others outside Grand City store off Al Lipscomb Way. According to an arrest affidavit, Ellison lured the teen to the store parking lot, and then the entire group walked one block to an empty field where Harris and Alonzo both shot Edwards multiple times and left. Just one street over, Edwards' mother says she was asleep in their South Dallas home at the time when her son left. He was only 14 years old. It's hard. It's very hard. The three other men in the group who are not currently facing charges or in custody were previously named potential persons of interest in a Fox 4 track down, helping investigators get one step closer to the alleged shooters. The mother of two of the men pictured contacted Dallas police, agreeing to bring her sons in for an interview. Both were eventually released. But a 15-year-old questioned identified the males in the group, but denied any involvement in the murder, claiming they were just standing with the group prior to the shooting. During the investigation, Dallas detectives did learn the day before Edwards was killed, the teen had been involved in an altercation where a deadly shooting occurred. Investigators say the next day, Edwards was set up and killed. Like I miss him. I know that I'm never going to see him again. Police say the suspect Travion Harris was linked to another shooting around the same time as the killing of Manuel Edwards. Investigators used a firearm used in that shooting and connected it to a firearm used to kill Edwards. Now, investigators are still searching for suspect 19-year-old Greg Ellison. Police say right now that's the only suspect they're still looking for.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.